In this video, we're going to look at comparison operators in PHP. Now, we've been talking about conditionals over the last several videos, and comparison operators go hand in hand with conditionals. So chances are, if you're using a conditional, you're probably going to use a comparison operator inside the test condition itself. And you can see down here, I've created some notes. The main thing you're doing with a comparison operator is you're comparing against a variable to see if it has a particular value. And the two main types of values are numeric or strings. And here are the main types of comparison operators. You will recognize a few of these. We used some of these in the last video. But one of the most important comparison operators is this double equal sign. Now it's important to note that this is not setting a value like the single equal sign does. Here, this is of course an assignment operator where we are assigning the value of 10 to this variable called num. But the double equals does not do that. It does exactly what a comparison operator does. It's testing to see whether this variable really has a value of 10. So think of it more like you're asking a question, does this equal 10? And again, we are not setting the value. So that's what we're doing here. We're testing to see if this is really in fact 10. And you'll hear this referred to as an equality comparison. So it's a comparison for equality, which always again involves these two equal signs. Okay, enough of that. So let's see if this actually works and it should. We should actually get the condition is true because the value of our variable is of course 10. So let's go ahead and refresh our page and we got the condition is true. Now the other one is the not equals. These two are basically the opposite of the equality comparison. So here we're asking if these are not equal to a particular value. And by the way, these angle brackets and this exclamation point and the equal sign, they do the same thing. So you can use either one of these. Let's go ahead and use the angle brackets. So we'll put this up here. And now we're gonna ask if the value inside of our variable, which of course is 10, is not equal to 10. And of course that is gonna come back as false, right? Because they are equal. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page and we got the condition is false. That's exactly what we expected. Let's go ahead and switch this to 11 and we'll go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page and the condition is true because yes, 11 is not equal to 10. Now we've already worked with the greater than and less than, so you guys can go ahead and walk through these, but I'll explain them really quickly. The greater than sign checks to see if the value that we have on the left is greater than the value on the right. And the less than sign does the exact opposite of that. And then of course we use this greater than equal sign operator in the last video. And that is basically is the value on the left greater than or equal to the value on the right. And of course this is the opposite. So you can go ahead and play around with these. Now we can also test variables against variables. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and create another variable here. And we'll just call this num1. And we'll keep the value at 10. So they both equal 10. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this down here. And we'll set this back to the equality comparison, which of course is double equals. And so we're asking, does the value of our first variable equal the value of our second variable? And in this case, it does. So we should get the condition is true. Let's go ahead and refresh our page. And we did. Now let's go ahead and set this to 11. We'll save this, refresh our page. And now we get the condition is false because now they are not equal. Now let's go ahead and flip this and ask if they are not equal. And now this should come back as true, right? Because these in fact are not equal. If we hit this, yep, we get the condition is true. So that's how that works. Now we can also test against string. So let's switch this variable name to name. And let's just say the name is Fred. And then we'll ask, and then we'll ask if the name does in fact equal Fred. So this should test out to be true. So let's go ahead and refresh our page, and it did. Now let's go ahead and change this string to Fred D. And we'll save this, and now this should come back as false, and it does. So that is how comparison operators work.